بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Let me conclude because the time is running out with the story for the sisters who follow us especially through the internet whose husbands are in prisons the or single mothers as well and actually for all of us there's a contemporary man in Egypt went to prison very poor as is so when he went to prison his wife has two kids she had to move with her parents it's the same thing repeated all over and over those whose family members went to prison they'll tell you the same story one day her son got sick he got very high fever no transportation he's in they, she's in her parents house now uh, no transportation and even if there was transportation there's no money to pay the doctors so she turned to Allah all night long. One minute dua in salah, two rak'ahs, in deep agony, in pain, in sujood, in dua. Then she would tend to her baby, changing the, the bathing towels on his head and body. And as you know, only mothers can talk about what they feel when their children are ill. May Allah grant my mother and all your mothers firdaus al-a'la for the suffering they suffered for us. Then she would go and soak the bathing towel in cold water and place them all over her son, his forehead and his body and take a break in salah. Two rak'ahs. Deep, dark, lonely, long night. Cries and shouts of desperation to Allah. And that's when the dua is most likely to get answered. أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُطَّرَّ إِذَا دَعَى The one who responds to the distress when he calls on to him Lay, lay at night, the knocking comes at her door. She put on her hijab, she opened the door. It's a doctor, a doctor's suit, white robe. This is a contemporary story. The doctor answered the door, but he in reality answered the order of Allah. The doctor at her door, she was astonished, has no means. She doesn't know what's going on. And limiting her communication with men, she watched as the doctor diagnosed the, uh, the baby, wrote the prescription, gave her words of comfort. Then he told her the bill is so-and-so. He handed her the bill. Here's the bill. And you pay for house calls, you pay right on the spot. It's well known back then and it's still known. In Arabic countries, I remember uh, till recently that they, you, the doctor comes, you pay him on the spot. She said, what? I have no money. He said, where's your husband who called me? She said, he's my husband's in prison. He didn't call you. My husband's been in prison for some time. He said, he said, you make a late call at night and you have no husband to pay for me? He said, isn't this apartment 18? She said, no, the apartment 18 is right down the hall. That's next door. So the doctor was astonished at how he came here and there really was someone sick. He said, SubhanAllah, what's your situation, lady? Tell me what it is. She told him her story. She began to cry as she was telling her story. And he began to cry. He said, Wallahi, it was Allah who took me out of my bed to come to see your son. Give me that prescription back. Let me get the medicine from my car and here's some money for you. And every week or so, I'm co I'll come and check up on you. Not only that, he continued to check up on her and give her from the charity that Allah gave him. The woman began to tease her husband who was in prison. She said, you might want to stay longer in prison because Allah, the Razzaq, is taking care of us more than you did when you were here.